Hi guys, and I'm gonna be making the fish tail um, rainbow fish um, rainbow fish tail. But I'm not exactly gonna be making the rainbow one. I'm just gonna be making plain, and I'm gonna be making it on the loom. So these are the ingredients you will need. Um, you will need an S clip. You will need a hook. You will need some red bands. So I'm gonna take my first band, and I'm gonna make an egg shape with it egg shape with it then I'm gonna take the egg shape off put one on and then I'm gonna put the other side on like so so like that <clears throat> and then I'm gonna get one more row band I'm gonna put it on like this and then I'm gonna another rubber band and put it on like that so now it's the time for the hook. As you can see, all my three rubber bands are on. Now the the second ones I put on are not in the egg shape, but the last one is. So I'm gonna take my hook. I'm gonna get the last one, and I'm gonna put it on top of the both of these. So like this. <clears throat> now I'm gonna. After the egg shape we made at the end, we're not going to make any more egg shapes. So, I'm going to make this. And I'm going to get the end of it. I'm going to put it on up again. So, basically, this is kind of getting in shape. And I'm just going to look at this. It's kind of getting in shape. And it, when you finish, it should look like this. And this one there. So, there we go. And we'll get another one. And we'll get this one. By the way, you don't actually have to make it on the loom. You can even make it by hand, but I prefer it on the loom better. So, we're just gonna do that. So you have to even you have to stretch it as well so it doesn't get cra cracked. So basically you can see the shape turning. Now we're gonna carry on. So yeah. So we're gonna put we're gonna keep this in here. We're gonna get our hook again. We're gonna put, get the last one, put it on top. So we're going to carry on like this and you can see it's getting in shape and if you can't do on the loom and if you don't have a loom you can even do on your two fingers, these two. Basically on your fingers you just twist it and put it the same as the pegs. So you make sure you don't get four on here or else this is going to be a big problem. They're all going to get muddled up and you will like and you and you're gonna be confused so yeah so you can see it's getting in shape there and when we take it off it will basically be like the same it won't nothing will happen and it's very easy to get it out off um so this that up and then the next one and pull 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 and then again so you want to keep on pushing uh, pushing um this one down both of them down because as you can see it's turning out like flat and that's how it's supposed to be i'm just gonna put my hook down and we're gonna do this now we're gonna get the other one. Anyway, if you don't have a hook, because um you can get you get a hook with every pack, but if you don't get a hook and you can uh, it's very hard to do it with your fingers because if your nails are short especially. And yeah, so let's go a little bit faster now. Oops, I forgot to put it there. 
so you keep on making this process until it's it's like fitting your wrist a bit wrist and when it's about fitting your wrist or you can even make it as a ring but I'm going to make it as a bracelet and let's get going and you're going to need a hook to end it or else you can ask your mom or dad to tie it up or something and also um, we've made other videos on this loom band process and we've made the inverted fishtail and we've made um, s s um, starburst as well and we're going to make lots of other videos as well so please keep on watching others as well as other so yeah basically the way how I did the loom is I took one um, of these off the pegs off the whole line off so we only need to anyway and remember you've got to make sure that you always stretch it and this is how it's gonna turn out it looks a bit sensitive but when you like pull it it's going hard let's go now we're gonna do and remember always to get the end part, not just this part and then get another one, put it on, put it on. Because then that's going to make a big problem. Remember always to get this one. If you don't get that one, it's going to go all wrong and only one side will be completed. Then you have to make it again. So, yeah. And if you're worrying, um, it's going to go all wrong. Just calm, uh, relax and do it very slowly like I am. this is the shape of it it's coming out quite good this is how the side looks so yeah let's keep on doing So yeah, this is how mine is going so far and I hope yours is going um, better than mine because I'm just rubbish at this. Basically, you let me explain one more time then you can have a go for yourself as well. You get three rubber bands. The first one, you make an edge shape. You get this one, put it on top like that. So, get another one put it on top and after you made this egg shape you never put an egg shape again not even at the ending then you get the last one and put it on like so like that so I hope you get the way and don't get confused the first time I watched this I got really confused oops mistake there the first time I done this, I got like, oh my god, what am I doing? But now I get it. So, oops. Get one. Put it over. Stretch it. Every time you put um, a rubber band down, basically, like this, and you, every time you make a sweat, a loop, plot, whatever you call it, every time you make it, you're just gonna. Like, for example, I've done it now. You're just going to pull it so it stretches out. And you're going to put it over. Look, you always put the end one over. Let me just spread this out a little bit so you can see more. And look, there's three rows. And I'm getting the last one. Only the last one. Then you put it up. Look how well it's going. It's going really well so far. And this. So I hope you're not getting bored because I am bored. Yeah. 
I think a little bit more and then we can try and fit it on our wrist and you can get these like little guitars and you can put little stencil I think they hold you can put these on the bracelet and they will look like really nice my friend my friend gave me some some of these stencils so I put them on and it looks cute um, yeah, so you can get them from eBay or anywhere. I got the loom uh, for three pounds, I think, and we got the rubber bands one thousand one, and we got it from eBay. So yeah. And just pull it. So this might take you a long time, and. Mm, please do watch my next video and um, in my next video I'll give you a bit of a clue it's gonna be something like this but it's gonna be more efficient so it's gonna be a different design though but like that ooh, ooh, ooh. make sure you don't hurt the bracelet pull it I think 10 or 11 more will do and then we can finish our bracelet and put it on our wrist so far this can fit my wrist. No, it isn't. Ten, eleven more. Scratch. Ooh, I thought the loom came off. As you can see, um, um, before we made this uh, this video, um, um, and we making we we may already made this video, so please check it out. This this bracelet is called the Starburst, and you can make it on two either two things. You can make it on a fork, and you can even make it on loom. So yeah, on the fork it's much harder. But if you were the loom, it's more easier than ever. Because some people don't have a loom and they um, they do on the fork. But it's quite hard to do on the fork. There we are. It's quite hard. When when um, the loom wasn't here, I tried to I tried to do on the fork and it was not a very 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 good one. I didn't, I didn't even get the shape of this. I was like completely off. Just five or six more, then I'll show you the results. And you definitely need a C clip or an S clip. For this point, I, I've got an S clip because it fits more things in, I think, yeah. But the C clip you can use for these, like these ones. And let's start it. So I'm just going to put a few more on. By the way, if you have a big wrist, you, I think you might need... The maximum point is 25, or if your wrist is really big, 30, about 30 will do enough. My, my wrist is really small, so I'm just going to make it out of 25. I'm nearly done. One or two more. Then I'll... So you with the S clip on and it will fit. Basically it's supposed to be the height one and you make sure you never you put you don't get the two and put it on. Well you can make the two on the loom as well. You can see that in my next video. And I'm gonna make the inverted fish tail as well. So yeah, and we're gonna make the triplet one. You know the triple bracelet, the triple fish lip. And we're gonna make that as well. So please watch them all. And so basically, you just get that one. Whoops. Get the last one. Put it up all of these. Stretch it. There you go. I think one more will do. And it's ready. Now, be very...
very careful taking it off because you don't want it to be ruined. And this is the finishing result. Now, hard bit. You get your S clip and one side only. You pop it on. Basically, like upside. Get on, get on. Gosh. Wait, I oh know. I've done it wrong. There we go. Now I've done it right. So this should have to take all of the um, rubber bands. And if it doesn't take all of the rubber bands, then you won't be able to complete it and it will go all ruin. It will ruin actually. Eventually you've done so much, so, so much hard work and eventually you've ruined it. So, oh, got it at last. Now you, you leave one side, you don't hook the other side. Then you get the other side of the bracelet. You get the two at the end, basically. It's, they might be popping out like this, mine, like mine. Make sure you don't open your bracelet. And you have to make sure there's like a little nut type there at the end so it doesn't open. These two will be popping out. And we've got our lovely red bracelet.